So here we are today, literally in the halls of Federal Ammunition. I'm here with my friend Dan. This guy knows a whole lot about shot shells, and that's what we want to talk about today is what are some of the best shot shells for wing shooting? What we've got right here, the Black Cloud for waterfowl, and we've got the Prairie Storm for upland. And even though these are two very different loads in a lot of regards, they're also similar in terms of the guts of what's actually in these shells between the wad and the pellets. So Dan's gonna break it down a little bit for us here. First of all, what's up with the wad? Sure, so the, the wad that we use in Prairie Storm, Black Cloud, a lot of our turkey loads that I know you've shot before as well, oh, it's yeah. called the Flight Control Wad. It's kind of the cornerstone of our premium lineup. We use it across the board, even in Buckshot, and that's where we actually first started. But it is what's called a rear braking wad. So a traditional wad, the gun goes off, the, the wad opens up like this, like a, like a flower petal going off. The petals just start to scatter. And a flight control wad, it's, like, it's, a, it's a tube, but that front of the tube stays rigid and the pedals are at the back. So imagine muzzle blast, that muzzle blast opens up the fins on the back, they extend out, it acts like an air brake and it pulls the, the wad away from the shot. It lets the shot go forward like in a really consistent manner. You know? So when you're patterning a target, a you don't want holes, right? So this gives you, we can predictably say, this is gonna pattern this way every single time, really eliminating a lot of the variability. So by nature, that gives you a consistent pattern, but it really gives you a tight one. So it works great in lead and it works great in steel. Yeah, and with a tight pattern, I mean, it's not every scenario where you wanna have a tight pattern, whether it's ducks or pheasants, but a lot of times you do. And so with that, flight control wad, it really allows those pellets to stay out there and stay in a much better pattern that's more controlled for a longer distance. So if you're having to take some longer shots at those ducks and they're not committing to your decoys or if you've got some wild flushing pheasants, then you're really gonna be able to rely on that wad to get you that extra distance that you're gonna need. Now, if you don't need all that extra distance, let's say for pheasants, what other options are there? Yeah, so Prairie Storm is the, the, the lead version of Black Cloud Flight Control Wad. It has what we call copper, you know, it's copper plated lead and been shooting that for ages. And then what we call flight stopper pellets are in both of these loads too. So that's got this little ring around it. It's got a little more surface area. When it hits the bird, literally it hits hard, it tears a bigger hole in the bird. So it's gonna have a lot more energy. So. A really long range load would be Prairie Storm, flight control wad, flight stopper pellets blended together or mixed with other copper plated lead. We have a federal premium offering in lead as well, which is copper plated. And that's gonna open up a little, um, you know, your pattern differences are typically between a 75 to 80% pattern to about a 60 to 70% pattern. So think that you're hunting pointers or you're at, you know, game farm scenario or the birds are coming up close. If you're too tight on a pheasant, you know, you don't get much pheasant left on the table after you're done. So we're trying to avoid that. But late season South Dakota, windy situations, jumpy birds, you got, you got a wild lab, you know, you never know. It, uh, it just gives you a little bit more range to, to reach out and touch them. And you can really see the difference when you shoot them in the field. So with the, the pellets, um, we've also got these special types of pellets that uh, they're called the flight stopper pellet. And with the Black Cloud, they're steel. With the Prairie Storm, they're lead. But actually, both load has a combination of round and flight stopper pellets. What's the, what's the point of that? Why would you want to have two different shapes of pellets in that load? Sure. If we do a flight control wad with 100% steel, it gives you a really, really tight load, which has a place. you know, like potentially late season snow goose hunting or something. But if you got decoy and birds, that might be a little too tight. So we found if you put these flight stopper pellets with the ring around them, they scatter a little quicker and it really gives you a nice even outside edge with the core center of the, the round pellets on the inside. So in Black Cloud Steel, 60-40 blend. 60% is the bulb ring grade steel, 40% is the flight stopper. In Prairie Storm, it's 70-30, where we have 70% copy of the lead, 30% 30, um, 30 flight stopper. And those are just the ratios that we found gave us the most consistent pattern and what we found is drop birds effectively over time and it's been over 10 years that we've had each of these loads. So, so these are all really good things to consider uh, whether you're gonna go out there duck hunting this year or you're gonna go out and try to bust some pheasants in South Dakota. Um, there are different options, different price points and for different scenarios it's easy to go to the store, look at the shelf, pick something because it has a cool looking box or a, a certain price point but really you want to think about what your hunting scenario is going to be and one of the cool parts about Federal is they really have something for no matter what that scenario is. So try to make the most of your trips this year and choose the right load for wing shooting.